Today, I want to share with you guys how you can get access to YouTube's new player and start experimenting with some of the new features that are coming out that's coming up. Hey guys, my name is Tim Schmoyer and it's Tuesday, which means it's time to take a look at some of the online video news updates from last week and talk about what it means for us as creators here on YouTube. And I've got three stories I want to share with you. Number one is that YouTube is experimenting with a new player and it looks pretty slick. It's kind of like invisible at the bottom. It only appears if you mouse over it and you got a couple new settings there as well you can play with. The one that I like the best is you can change the speed at which the video plays. So if you're watching a longer video and and you just want to put it in double speed, you can watch it in double speed and shrink a 10 minute video down to five minutes. The new player also dynamically changes size and resolution just based on the size of your browser window that you're watching the video in. So it's really slick. They're experimenting with it. If you want to try it out, there's a link in the description below this video here on YouTube where you can go just click. It's really easy to set it up and you can go experiment and play with it and see what you think. A second update that YouTube made last week is they rolled out this new thing that lets musicians dig a little bit deeper into to their audience to find out things like where their audience is positioned and located around the country so you can maybe better plan a tour. Gives you some deeper insights into some of your stats and as far as your community, your crowd is concerned. But right now, this tool only works for about 10,000 music channels. YouTube says they're working to expand that. But as of right now, you're probably just gonna see like the super popular, like into the millions of subscribers type of bands on there. Personally, I would love to see YouTube roll this out to everyone because like, even though I'm not a musician, I would love to know like which part of the area and parts of the world you guys are congregated in so make it easy like if I want to do like a local YouTube training sometime or if I want to do a meetup or something like that like that would be really helpful for me to know where you guys are at so in the meantime why don't you comment below let me know where you are from and just list like the closest major city to you and maybe some of you guys might want to check through those comments and find someone who might be close to you that might make for a good collaboration or something in the future and number three the YouTube Creator Academy is opening up again if you have haven't been through it already I do recommend that you go through it it is kind of basic but basically it's a two-week video course that you go through with a bunch of other creators that YouTube themselves has des they've designed this they created they put it together you do have the RSVP and sign up for it so the link for that is in the description below if you want to find out more about this course that is happening and sign up to be a part of it. and if this is your first time here I would love to have you subscribe every Tuesday we take a look at the online video news updates talk about what it means for us as creators tomorrow every Wednesday we give you guys some YouTube tips, ideas, suggestions, advice, and then coming up on Thursday, YouTube Q&A. And I do all this, guys, to really help you grow your YouTube channels and your audiences because I really believe that a lot of you guys have messages that need to spread and the world needs to hear, and I want to help you guys grow your audiences so those people can find you and hear you and hear your message and hopefully have their lives be changed as a result. So thank you for letting me be a part of that. Subscribe, and I'll see you guys again tomorrow.